Hi, I'm Jana from Magellan Dental Arts. Today I'd like to talk about digital photography for shade taking photos. Digital photography can have numerous impacts on your dental practice. Photos can be used to educate patients, improve case acceptance, communicate shade to the dental lab, and improve patients' confidence following treatment. Well-documented photography is critical for communication between the dentist and the ceramist, especially when they're far away from each other. Here are some tips that will help your restoration come back looking like you had a technician take the shade for your patient in person. Step 1. Take the shade at the beginning of the appointment, before any procedure while the teeth are fully hydrated. Step 2. Neutralize the shade zone. Bright colors reflect on teeth. Shades can be affected by the color of the office walls, color of the patient's lipstick, color of clothing, etc. Step 3. Choose the camera and the lens. We find that the majority of the doctors use a DSLR camera, Nikon or Canon with a macro lens and either a ring flash or a dual flash. Dual flash is best suited for interior photography and shade taking photos. Step 4. Using natural lighting. Lighting can distort the shade, making it one to two shades lighter or darker. Making sure you have natural light when making light bulbs or are close to a window is the best way to take a photo. The ideal light color temperature is 5500 to 6000 Kelvin. Make sure not to overexpose the photo and refer to the light level histogram graph on your camera. Step 5. Include the shade tabs in the photo. We use the VitaPan 3D Master Shade Guide in our lab. Always have more than one shade tab in the photo for reference. Place the edge of the shade tab to the edge of the tooth to be restored, mirroring its image, depth of field and angle with the lens. Take at least two photos. Take one close-up of just teeth, K9 to K9. Take another close-up with shade tabs in place. Try taking photos from different angles. This helps show the characteristics of the tooth, such as cracking, regional discoloration, and translucency. We also find that shade guides degrade from sterilizing, which could lead to wrong shade being selected. If your shade guide is more than three years old, it might be time to invest in a new one. We hope that this video has been helpful and look forward to receiving your photos. Bye!